I have a few of those carburetors and I'm going to buy two more Nova carbs. Okay? I mean two more uh, Nova Rossi carburetors. Okay? I mean not carburetors, I'm sorry, engines. I'm going to buy two more 28 point Rex Legends. Okay? Which come with those carburetors. Period. Okay? Now, the LRP, like I said, I've got it in the Mugen. It's going to run after the Techno. Might run both of them this weekend. I'm trying. We'll see. Now, I usually won't do that but because I haven't ran in over a week, almost two weeks. The, uh, I, I just want to get some, some serious brapping. Uh, you know, so we might just run the hell out of the Techno, or we might run both. We'll see. Anyway, I haven't decided yet. So anyway, I know for sure we're running this thing. This thing, the Nova Rossi 28.8 Rex Legend. 41032 header, 9886 pipe, modified by RV Mods, Rex Legend. We're going to run it in the Techno. Put the black DE racing rims on there on, with the Badlands. I don't know. I think it looks a little bit more evil than normal. Um, through these, if you guys notice, these are the ZD racing rims and tires that I run, that I ran before. This is how they come original, mounted all four of these rims and tires for less than 40 bucks. Killer deal. Closest to a Badland type pattern. It's not, you know, it's not definitely the Badland pattern, but the good style. They grip well, they run well. I've ran them in the concrete thing on the street. I don't recommend that, but you know, they're 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 pretty durable. Real rubber, not synthetic. Um, they're not much they're compared to these, they're about maybe 10 grams heavier, maybe, which isn't a lot. So they're not much heavier. Um, but you know, I noticed one thing if you guys look at this, check it out. These tires and rims, the way they're all set like that, they're wider than the Techno. They're about a half inch wider on both sides to the Techno. If you look at it, can you guys see that? The Megan right now with those rims and tires are wider. It's the the, the Mugen with these rims and tires are is wider than the Techno. Okay. Um, how I don't think I've ever ran I ran these tires with the DE racing rims I think on the Mugen maybe not if not this will be the first time definitely with these rims so hey like one of one of my Nitro brothers he's, he's mentioned hey you can at least work on the pillow balls <laughs> without taking off the rims which is true <laughs> so but anyway um yeah so we've got the modded 28.8 in the Techno, ready to rip. And we got the MM modded LRP.32 with the Novorossi carb. And I believe we are running the 4101, which I recommend on stock big motors. And I'm running an 086-ish uh, pipe combo. So I've never ran. The 086-ish combo. I never ran a lot on this LRP.32. I've only ran the Pico so far um, with, I believe, we ran the Nova Rossi on it, I think, the last time. Or well, anyway, we ran it twice. Remember, we ran this thing uh, in the uh, um, Mugen buggy. And then we also ran it in the Muggy. Oh, yeah, the Muggy, I think we did the... 41032 and the Pico and then we did the 41001 and the Novorossi and the Mugen MBX 5 Prospect. Anyway, that's about 37 minutes. I want to keep it under 45 minutes. So, yeah. So, I mean, these are the guys I give shout-outs to. And like I said, remember, man, if you want less headaches, okay, stop trying to do shit your way. Learn from somebody, and it doesn't even have to be me, somebody that has the proof, because the proof's in the pudding, that their shit is on point. Not just what they're talking and showing, that they're running their shit and having, they have videos, uploads of their shit well-maintained, well tuned, brapping, getting busy. That's somebody you want to you might want to listen to. Okay? And then just copy what they do. That's all. This is a copycat hobby. You know, don't try to do shit on your own, especially if it's not working. 
You know, the old expression, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, well, if the barn needs painting, paint that shit. Okay? You know? So, take that to heart. The less money that you spend in this, and I'm not saying it takes a lot of money, but it can be expensive. You know, guys do videos, and I, uh, you know, a guy, I won't mention his name, and he knows. He, he sometimes watches my videos, but I don't need to mention any names. We'll just... We'll, we'll change, we we'll won't say any names to protect the identity, even though most people probably won't even know who it is. But he did a video on racing, and I know a, friend, a buddy of mine asked him a question, and that's why he did the video. He didn't even cover racing. Do you know that if you race locally, you have to spend $100 to get a lap count on your fucking vehicle? Are you kidding me? I raced before, not recently, but I've raced in the past, 10 scale E words, long time ago. It's not cheap. And I know guys that race. It's not cheap to locally race Nitro. So I don't give a shit what anybody tells you. They're lying to you. You're spending $40 on a gallon of fuel. You probably will burn through that in a day. And usually those events you go to, they're three day things. It's not one day. If you're racing, a racing local event is three days. You're spending a few hundred dollars every time you go. And then more upkeep on your shit. You're going to go through more shit. Racing is not cheap don't get that twisted okay is it like super expensive no but if you're a guy that's struggling and you're not even racing i mean not struggling but you know what i mean trying to watch your money <laughs> don't race it ain't free like i said if you want to race to get those lap counters put in your vehicle it's a hundred bucks per vehicle if you're running two whips two hundred dollars mandatory that's just that you're gonna run a gallon of fuel there's 40 bucks you're going to burn up some tires. There's another 100 bucks, depending on how many tires you go through. And you need to have extra tires. Do you notice Raja has tons of fucking tires? Okay? So, and I'm not trying to, you know, discredit what Raja was saying. I just think he left out a lot of stuff. And I'm going to keep it real. I don't give a fuck. That's how I am. You know what I mean? I will expose people that need to be exposed. And I will just, by, if I, by telling the truth, then so be it, man. I don't care. Like I said, I didn't start this channel... For, and I'm not begging nobody for thumbs up, thumbs down, likes, dislikes, you know, little views, bunch of views, subscribers. I could care less. Matter of fact, I think I lost a few subscribers. I think. But then I always gain five more. I don't, I'd rather, I don't care. These guys that I've been mentioning, okay, shout outs to, there's about five guys that I talk to behind the scenes of YouTube every day. And these are guys that are hungry. These are guys that want to do it the right way. Okay? And they're always asking me questions. I love that, man. Ask away and I'll give you the, 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 the bottom, the, the God's honest truth. If I don't have the answers, I'll find them for you. I'll do the research. Because I, unlike some people, do my homework. There's some good students and there's some, you know, <laughs> ignorant students. Okay? Educated and uneducated. Educated means you study, you do your homework, you take notes. You do research. What do you think I've been doing besides working all week? I'm working my ass off. Every chance I get, at the end of the day, I spend at least two hours looking for whips. And I'll show you one that I found. And I also watch videos. And I also take in more information. And, you know, so I arm myself with facts, not just fiction and hypothetical bullshit like some people bring up. Okay? I found a whip. I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on it because it's more than I really want to spend. And I'm really looking for a buggy like I told you guys before but man sometimes you just got to jump on these deals because they won't be there all the time okay and this is an un a vehicle that i don't know a lot about all i know is it's pretty sick um if it's still in here i thought i put it in here maybe it's not in here i thought i had it in here let's find it maybe it's on the back burner oh i think i saved it you, I, man, I got like, oh, I got not that much. I usually got about $4,000 worth of shit in my cart. I'm about ready. Oh, there it is right here. Now, tell me that this isn't a sick whip. Now, I I want the buggy of this. But the buggy is, you know, they're both the same price. I just like the way this truggy looks. It's a sick ride, period. What is it? It's a Kyosho, okay? Now, look at this thing. This thing is freaking, hold on a minute. This thing is pretty clean, 
Okay. Um, very clean. I mean, it's got MC to M2C. It's got King Head's front and rear aluminum chassis stiffener. It's got the extra beefy drive shafts. I think they're either aluminum or titanium. It's got the MC2, which is an aftermarket company that makes a lot of braces. The chassis is an MC2 chassis. MC2, M2C, I'm sorry. M2C Racing makes good aftermarket shit besides King Heads. Good, good aluminum quality chassis stiffeners. I mean, look at this thing, man. This thing is sick. Now, this is a next level sick ass truggy. Their truggies are close. It's a, the Kyosha truggies are close to their kind of similar to their buggies. But look at that thing. You can eat off it. Now, it's guy raced it. It's in mint condition. Okay. You know, so I mean, it's a great, great vehicle. Um, he listed, this guy listed one too. But I don't know. He said it's not. I don't know if he's going to relist it or what. Maybe, maybe not. This one too. Look at this one. This is a sick ass Kyosho. Okay, I can't. I don't know why he doesn't. He didn't put it so I can. But anyways, you guys can see that, right? And the glare. Now that's. Tell me that ain't sick. This one too. I guess he has a couple of them. I like the, this one better. It's got a little bit more wear on it. It's got a motor with it. Comes with a motor and pipe. I don't know too much about these MC5R motors. It's a point twenty one P shooter, but I mean this thing's got all the bells and whistles. He wants four hundred and fifty dollars for it, flat out. No make offer, no nothing. I don't know if I want to spend that much. I don't need really another truggy right now. What I want is another buggy because I only have one. So anyway, that's just. Food for thought, something that I, you know, let you guys know on where I'm, my thought process is. It's a nice Kyosho. I wouldn't mind, I'll get it. I, I don't, I really want a Techno buggy because I want to make, I want to match up. I got a Techno Truggy, sick Truggy, right? I want a sick ass Techno uh, buggy. I've got a, you know, in my opinion, pretty decent looking um, MBX 7T Truggy, Mugen. I have my Mugen buggy, even though it's their, their, you know, big age gap between them. Maybe I might get an MBX7. I don't know, because for me to get another Mugen, I already have one. It's not going to be way better than this one, although a lot of the stuff has changed. Gearbox, differentials, stuff like that. Um, if I was going to get anything, I'd probably get an MBX8. But I want to keep them in the same... You know what I'm saying? The Techno will be matched to this. The 48, this is an NT 48.3. The buggy is a 48.4, which means they're coming out with another truggy. Now, I'm going to end this video real quick. Um, I've pretty much covered all the things that I wanted to cover. Um, like I said, you know what? Stop putting your own twist on shit, especially for you guys that watch me and you guys that I've been helping. Whenever I tell you to do something, look, if you want my your shit to run, perform, sound, idle, tune, whatever, like mine, look like mine, clean like mine, less headaches, all that, do what I tell you. Don't do add your own shit. I'm not going to steer you wrong. I have no reason to. Okay? I'm going to tell you exactly what I do, and more importantly, I'm going to prove to you that it works by the results. Now, if you have your shit running as good or even better than mine, I'm sure there's plenty of people who have shit running better than mine. If your shit's cleaner than mine, if your shit's just a lot sicker than mine and there's a lot i'm not the only one that has sick ass whips there's a lot of people that do but if your shit performs tunes and is dialed just like mine then you don't need to listen to anything i just said disregard this whole fucking video okay take what you can from it use it to whatever you to your advantage and whatever you can't leave it okay that's what i do i take and pick from these guys that i learn from some things i already know some things you know, I'm not going to disagree with everything because I'm, you know, there's certain things that, okay, well, I've done it this way and it worked better for me. Okay, different strokes for different folks. What works for me might not necessarily work for you guys. Okay, I'm just telling you the way I do it, the way it's that I've been doing it, and I'm showing you the results I get of, of my, me doing it. Those rims look pretty sick on the on the uh, Mugen, don't they? 
I just noticed that. I was just kind of catching a glimpse. I was like, dang. It's like one of those chicks that walk by, you know, you're talking to a friend, and this hot chick walks by, and all of a sudden you stop talking, and you're like checking her out as she walks by. You're like, oh, snap. Did you see that, babe? That's how it was. I'm just talking to you guys, and I turned it, and i like, oh, snap. That mutant looks pretty sexy with them rims on there like that. Bling, bling, bling. Anyway, Buggy's sexy too, so all my whips are sexy. Why? Because I care about them. Because I take care of them. Because I take care of my children, people. Quit neglecting your shit. Treat your shit right if you want it to perform right. So anyway, um, yeah, so if you want your shit to run like mine, do what I tell you to do. Don't put your own twists on it. And if you do and it doesn't go right, it ain't my fault. You continue to do shit your own way and let me know how that works out for you. You know, if you think your way with the shitty results that you're getting is the right way, hey, and that makes you feel better, and you keep telling yourself that, if that makes you feel better, then go ahead. I'm not saying mine's the perfect way. Don't get that twisted. I'm just saying, if you want the shit to run and perform like my shit does, then do what I tell you to do. I'll help you. Just quit trying to do it your own way. Stop putting your twist on it. I tell you to do it a certain way because that's the way that it's been working for me. And that's the way that I do it. Okay? So anyway, that's all I got. I'm out. Catch you guys on the next video, which will be the wrapping video. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any comments, anything, you can comment below. I'm sure tons of people will, will be because they haven't heard from me in a while. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. You know, these guys, that shout outs, shout outs. I'm going to continue to do that. Shout outs. Kudos to you people. Shout outs. Hey, take it for what it's worth. Doesn't mean I hate you. Doesn't mean I'm, you know, mad at you. Doesn't mean, you know, I'm calling you out. It's just, hey, man, I call it how I see it. Acts like a duck, talks like a duck, walks like a duck. It sounds like a, it's a duck. Okay, that's just the way I'm going to call it always. Criticism. Credit do or credits do. Criticism do or criticisms do. Okay? If you don't like that, then continue to unsubscribe, all you people. Continue to hate. Don't hate the player hate the game that's the way it is right okay so anyway i got a lot of plans got obviously you know i'm looking for whips got like three motors that i'm getting ready to pick up there one of them i'm going to keep i'll let you know on which one the other ones i'm going to send and get it modded because i have that os up here that needs to get the hell out of here it's been sitting here too long it needs to be modded it needs to get rick's rick's love on it or whoever i send it to um, and then two other motors. I'm going to do like I did with these other three. I'm going to do another three modded, and then we're going to go through the whole process. Get them modded, bring them back, break them in one by one, start running fuel through them. And, uh, you know, I do my shit, if you notice, in a systematic way. It's the way I've always done my shit. First motor I broke in, reds, point twenty one. Oh, now, real quick side note, if you guys are running jack motors, and you think that, even on the OS... Even unless it's a $500 Drake motor and still, compared to any Italian, not even close. So, enough with that. Quit it, guys. Guys are always, oh, well, the OS this and my Alpha this and my LRP that. That's all Asian shit. Trust me. And I told one guy that today. All your fucking OS motors that you have. When you run a Novorossi 28.8 for the first time, I guarantee you, you won't ever touch none of those fucking rice burners ever again. Okay, not unless it's an LRP point thirty two. Okay, and that's not it's a rice burner. It's Asian. Okay, the block of that thing is Taiwan. Okay, don't get that twisted. That's a fact. Okay, or a decent OS. Okay, but still it doesn't compare. That's like comparing a Lexus to a fucking Ferrari. Okay, not even close. <laughs> Lexuses, badass, good rice burner, quality. They got some high performing Lexuses that are really nice. But compared to a Ferrari, they're not even close. Come on, man. Keep it real. So anyway, that's all I got. Leave you with that. If you're not running your shit, set that piston bottom dead center. Don't fuck your shit up. Put some of that muggy juice in there, that after run oil. And, you know, take care of your shit. All right, people? Peace.